All right, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own original um, song using A minor and E minor chords, all right? We're always gonna start in live loops. So tap new. All right, I'm gonna hit plus. We're gonna go to instruments, all right? We're gonna make our own loops, all right? So we're gonna go to instruments. And then you can either go to smart piano or alchemy synth. Um, they're both basically the same thing, um, but I'm gonna go into alchemy synth. All right, because it starts me on a synth sound. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap this far right icon to switch over to the smart um, piano, all right? Then I'm gonna change my sound. Um, I've already gone through and kind of picked out the sounds I uh, know I'm gonna like. I'm gonna use chill keys, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is, um, again, we're gonna use A minor and E minor, all right? Um, so it's up to you to decide where you wanna tap and hold, all right, to, uh, for A minor, E minor. The key here is, is um, we're going to press and hold each one for four beats, all right? In music, the most common um, unit of measurement is the four beats, all right? So once you figure out where you're going to play, we're going to tap record. And you want to always make sure your metronome is on, that, that little blue triangle, because what that does is it taps out the beat. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so see how I'm holding each one four counts? All right, so now I'm gonna hit stop. Go back to my grid. So here I've got my synth loop created. I'm using A minor and E minor. All right, now I'm gonna add in um, a drum beat with it. All right, go, so I'm gonna go to my beat sequencer and I'm gonna create a beat that I like, that I feel like matches this. All right, I always start with the kick drum and a clap. All right, and then go from there to kind of feel it out. Now I'm going to double the length of this um, to 32 steps. All right, see so yeah, I put my kick and clap there in the middle. Um, so that's beats one and two, so I need to double it, all right? And now I'm going to add in my hi-hats. Again, this is no rule to this, just kind of what you, what you feel with the song. All right, I'm going to tap over to the second part of the beat here, make the second half a little different with the hi-hats. my note repeat here to get a little quick tap there. Again, just experimenting to find something that I like how it feels. Yeah, I think I'm digging that. I'm going to add in a couple more kick, kick drum hits. experimenting here until I find something I like. Notice how the second half of my drum pattern is different than the first. That adds a little variety to it. All right. Now I got it. I'm just going to hit record. All right. There I have my drum loop. All right. So I'm going to stop. Go back to my grid here. So I got my synth and my drum loop. All right. Now um, we're going to move to adding in our bass. All right. I'm going to play both those loops while I make my bass so that I can hear it, all right? So I'm going to go into Alchemy Synth, all right? I'm going to switch it over to bass. Um, I'm just going to use an 808 for this. You can choose any bass you want, all right? I'm just going to go with the 808 thing, I think. Yeah, we'll go with the 808. All right, I'm going to switch it back over to my Smart Piano. All right, so again, the key to today is if you're using A minor and E minor, you always use that um, no matter which instrument you're playing. So with my bass, when my synth is playing A minor and E minor, I'm gonna play the same thing in for my bass, all right? But I can um, play a different rhythm. I can tap out some of the different notes, all right? So I'm gonna hit record here. And just tap out this little bass rhythm with it using A minor and E minor. My bass in, hit stop, go back to my grid. All right, I'm gonna play all those together. All right, last one, I'm gonna add in another synth here. Again, go to instruments, alchemy synth. 
This time I'm gonna make it a different sound, all right? Go to my smart piano, I'm gonna change it. Um, that I found, all right, um, it's down here, this warm bell pad, all right, I love the sound of wearing this in, all right, so again, all I'm going to do is press A minor and E minor again, uh, playing the same chords on top or underneath that other synth sound, all right, like how that sounds, you notice how I'm playing each one to a four count, two, three, Right now I got that nice <clears throat> chill sound layered in in the background, all right? So I can go to my grid. <clears throat> all right, so now I got my four loops I'm gonna use, all right? Keeping it simple today. Now I'm gonna hit record. I'm still gonna create a structure by tapping them in at different times, all right? So I'm gonna start with my synth sound and then I'm gonna bring in my drums and my bass, all right, and go from there. Uh, oops. I don't want everything at once. Let me undo that real quick. All right, here we go. So again, building that structure, starting with one sound. All right, I need to bring the other synth down. I'm gonna start with that drum there, though. I'm gonna bring my bass in. Create a little pause here. Now bring everything in. Again, no matter what style of beat you're using, you always want to create those pauses and beat drops. That creates the anticipation for the listener. All right, so I'm just gonna switch up the order here. Take my drums out, bring them back in. All right, I'll take these out. song with those two cents. I'm gonna hit stop. All right, so there's my song. Now I'm gonna hit that track view there so I can see. All right, zoom out. All right, I didn't mean to bring the synth in there in the beginning, that second one, so I'm gonna just tap on that and delete it. All right, so there's my finished song. Notice still got the pauses and the beat drops in there. All right, so your goal today is create a song using A minor and E minor. Have a synth, drum pad, a bass, and then some other type of sound as well. All right, get it cracking. <laughs>